Okay, I'm about to um, mold the soap. And what I've done is I've put it in this bucket to let it cool faster. I've got my plumeria. And I'm going to add my plumeria in. I'm going to add this entire bottle of plumeria, which is only a half ounce. It's not, not that much. I'm going to get that mixed in. Into this. Hopefully, I don't know if you can see or not, but right now I'm getting the plumeria mixed in with the the Queen's tea, part of the soap, which is our uh, coconut oil base soap. Okay, now put this part in here. Mold it. Spread that out. Okay. Alrighty. And this, both these together are about four and a half pounds of soap together because this is a five pound mold. So I needed to um, make it so that I could get both types of soap in the mold. So I, instead of doing just a five pound batch, I divided it up to two and a half to two pounds on one recipe and two and a half on another, which comes to, you know, four and a half pounds of soap, which is good. Okay, now you see I've got my Queen's tea in the bottom. Okay. And what I'm going to do is spritz it with 70% alcohol. And that's all you need. And then I'm going to add my plumeria to my Castile soap and add a half ounce is what is in this these uh, little containers. I'm going to stir this up. And you remember we also put oatmeal and bentonite clay in this and it just smells wonderful. So now we're going to take it and put that right on top. And this is two soaps in one. And it's it's become really popular for uh, me and Columbia, and so uh, and we're really proud of that because this is one of the first soap recipes that we concocted uh, after we had been doing it for a while and decided, hey, you know what, we're gonna do something extra special and so we're really proud of this recipe it's a good recipe and uh, it's been very popular like I said and and I can't keep enough of it so we just want to thank everybody who who has purchased it and of course Janice for her her double order for two uh, two loaves we really appreciate that and so this is how you put two different soaps together. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sm smack this on the ground so that there's no air bubbles is what I'm going to do here. So hang on just a minute. Okay, now she likes her tops to have sparkles. So we're going to... Let uh, Cece grab the sparkles. In that, yeah, right there. Open it up, and we're going to add sparkles to the top because Janice really likes to have sparkles on the top of her Queen's Tea soap. And it just gives it that extra oomph. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it does look pretty when it's on there. Okay, so let me just give it a little bit of a. 
character character on top. Kind of build it up a little bit. Okay. All right. Now let me get that part off. Whew. All right. Now go ahead and just douse it. There you go. Make it pretty heavy because, uh, the he you know, you make it heavy so that it'll stick. And plus, you're going to use a lot of it whenever you first get in the shower. Once it's just fine. Okay. Not like I do studies. So sometimes I spritz it a little bit, and then we can put another layer on. Mm -hmm. So put another layer on after we spritz that. And that kind of helps it all adhere. Might have to pat it. Just the lid won't stay open. <laughs> yeah. okay. There you go. That's good. And then just make it heavy. Now it won't. All of it won't adhere. But that's why you make it heavy. So that. Um, let me get a little bit down here. So that. Um, it. You know. You get some on there. Yeah. And it makes a difference when you cut it, and it looks really pretty. Okay. So this is the queen tea soap. Okay, and I'm molding the second queen's tea, and it smells really good. And I added the bentonite clay and oatmeal to the olive oil uh, batch that we're going to put on top of this. There we go. Almost done here. And then we'll make sure that this is in the bottom and looks good. Sometimes when I do this, the the olive the uh, queen's tea it, it can turn out lighter or darker. It, it just depends. Um, on the concentration of the tea when we add the lye. And I'll, I'll tell you another thing. Here's a safety tip. Make sure your tea mixture cools before you add your lye. Otherwise it will become volcanic. And you don't want that. So make sure that it cools before you add your lye. Say it again. So it's not, it doesn't become volcanic. It will it will erupt out of the out of your designated lye uh, bucket or whatever you use. So just re please remember that. Okay, now we're going to add the top part. And this is, whoops, plumeria, which we're going to add to our top as well. Get over here. Let me grab this. Up. Oh. And bring it over. Okay. This is a really, really moisturizing and it has the benefits of oatmeal and a wonderful like a vanilla flavor from the tea and uh, and then with with, with adding the uh, plumeria it really adds to all that so okay and here comes CC she she had to run downstairs and put something in that belly <laughs> Hey, soaping's hard work. There you go. Soaping's hard work. And if you want good soap, you probably don't want sticky fingers. In it. <laughs> so, yeah. Common courtesy. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get this off of there. And then I'm going to bump it on the ground. Always try to bump it three times because then I know I'm not going to have air pockets. So, that's the next thing I'm going to do. Oh, Lord. 
one was a little bit... Whoops! I lost my camera on that one. <laughs> Didn't know my own strength. Alright, let me see if I can tighten that up. Okay, there we go. Alright, the reason why you want to do that, uh, which you just went on a bumpy ride, I told you this was a journey, <laughs> uh, is because you want to make sure that both soaps adhere to one another. Uh, that's really important. And here I'm trying to get it away from the sides. And now I'm just, I want to kind of give it a a little bit of a rustic look on top. And then we're going to add the sprinkles like we did the other one. Since that's her request. So. Alrighty. There we go. Alright, let me grab the sprinkles. Where did they go? Here they are. I'm going to add that. Pretty heavy. Now the soap is wet, so it's going to pretty much adhere without me putting... Um, but if you go over the top with, you know, your 70% your, uh, isopropyl alcohol, uh, you're going to pretty much ensure that you're going to have sprinkles on there. So it's all good. Okay, and here we have the second batch of our uh, custom order. And I guess, uh, like I said, uh, you'll see us in a few minutes, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. So talk to you later. Okay, uh, I let this set overnight to harden. Now you have to remember that the, our Queen's Tea soap is from two different soaps. Uh, this part is the Queen's Tea and um, this part is olive oil, Castile soap. So this has to sit and harden. And you can see her sparkles on top and it turned out to be a really good bar. I made her bars a little bit bigger than usual. Uh, and I'm, we're going to trim them up where they're easier to hold. And it smells really good. It's a kind of vanilla -y floral flavor uh, of scent. And uh, it's going to be a good bar. So this is what it looks like. And uh, you can see that this is still uh, a little bit wet. So it's going to take time. So before she gets this order, we'll let it sit for a couple of weeks, and then uh, we'll deliver it. So, okay, this is the Queen's Tea, and we do custom orders per batch, and so she got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen bars for twenty-five, and uh, which is a good good price. And uh, so I'm really pleased with how they turned out. And now you know how to combine two soaps into one. So, all right. We'll see y'all later.